Five at five at four. Hope you're enjoying this Tuesday afternoon. Well, the spring rains have helped pastures with fescue grass turn green. During foaling season, the lush pastures create problems for pregnant mares. Dr. Carla Summerdole, an equine internal medicine specialist at UT College of Veterinary Medicine, is here now to talk more about fescue grass, specifically toxicity it can cause and how that impacts um, pregnant horses. Yes, yeah. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thanks well, thank for having me. thank you for me. coming on. We were just talking, this is a problem you see every spring. Yes, yes. So it's not the grass itself that's toxic, mm -hmm. it's a microscopic fungus called an endophyte that infects the grass. And pretty much all of our fescue in the southeast has this fungus in it. It's hard to prevent it. And it's only a problem in pregnant horses. And so it um, causes a lot of problems during their pregnancy mm -hmm. and after the foaling. But the biggest thing we see is it inhibits milk production in these mares. So after the foal is born, there's no milk, nothing oh, wow. for them to eat. Okay. Is that the biggest symptom or can owners see some symptoms before the foal comes? Yeah, usually not. I mean, you can tell the mare's not producing an udder like she should is, you know, kind of a telltale sign, but sometimes it, it, it can't, you know, you can't really tell anything. Another problem it causes, it, it can cause poor development in the foals mm -hmm. uh, in utero. So they're born very weak, have um, immature organs, immature muscles, so they're, you know, they just don't do as well. Can it be fatal? It can, yes, mm -hmm. very fatal, especially if they don't, you know, get anything to eat and there's, you know, no one around to notice that they were born and, and you know, get something done quickly. So what's your advice to horse owners? The biggest thing is to not feed fescue grass pastures mm -hmm. to horses and also the, the hay can also be toxic. The endophyte toxins actually survive the baling and drying process. So even the hay, you know, years after, if, if it's been in the barn is still toxic. So we recommend to take any pregnant mare off of fescue pasture okay. or he fescue hay uh, two to three months before she f is due to foal. What about feed something else? What about treating the mare once she develops yes, this if, toxicity? Right. If you don't, if you you know weren't able to do that, there is some drugs that'll help with the lack of milk production. Okay. But it's slow to help. But there's really nothing that helps with the poor development in the foal, unfortunately. Wow. So it can be a, a big problem. Yes. Yes. Well, we thank you for coming on. Great information. Okay. Thank you very Thanks much for, for being me. here. All